Greetings everyone and welcome to another WIST technology tutorial. In today's episode I'm going to be walking you through a workflow regarding Explain Everything and Google Classroom. So say I'm a teacher and I have this great idea to push out something I've made and explain everything to all of my students for them to work with and then um, submit back to me through Google Classroom. So the first thing I need to do is actually create my explain everything template. I'm going to go ahead and open the app. And then I'm going to go ahead and I need to add and create my template. So I'm going to do a uh, a picture from a file I have in my Google Drive. And I'm going to use this one right there. Done. Okay. Great, so now the next thing I need to do is export this as a project back to my Google Drive. So I can go ahead and just click this one, export, and I'm gonna do it as a project file so my students can interact with it. Again, I'm gonna put it back in Google Drive, and I'm gonna click export. It's gonna prompt me, oh, you gotta name it first. So I'm gonna save it with a name. Uh, I'll call it Sandbox, just cause that's the name of the class that I'm putting it into, so I know which one I'm doing. Okay, so now it's exporting. We've got it. Now I can actually hover over to uh, Google Classroom, and in Google Classroom, I'm going to create an assignment, and call it, what do you see? I would further elaborate instructions here, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but the point is that they would be prompted to uh, give audio commentary on this Explain Everything project. Uh, and then the next step, of course, is to attach that template. So I can go back into that file where I saved my Explain Everything template. Uh, where did I put it now? I guess I gotta search for it. I do remember I called it Sandbox. Here it is. All right. So uh, once I've done this, um, and again, the idea is they will be asked to speak about uh, this image in the instructions. I'm not gonna take time to write them all out, but I'm gonna post it. Bingo. Um, and I don't know if you heard that, but my iPad over here just rang out, so I'm now going to switch screens here. Hopefully I can bring up the student iPad here to see to show you what they're seeing. Okay, so now the student has just joined us um, and it gave me a notification ding, so I'm going to go over here and go into Google Classroom. And I'm going to refresh here just to, to see what we've got. I hope I posted it to the right. OK, so here it is. So this is what is available on the student iPad. And they would be reading the instructions and seeing, OK, there's an attachment here. Let's go ahead and grab that attachment. and. Great. So now it's been added to my drive. Um, now, this is where the workflow gets a little tricky. We cannot just open it right here, although this will likely be fixed soon. Um, so we actually need to go back to the Explain Everything app. I notice there's a delay in the... Uh, so here we are. And we would actually have to open the file um, in, a, in the uh, Explain Everything app. So I would choose the icon uh, right here. And then I'm going to choose my Google Drive. And then, of course, I would choose the Sandbox uh, project. And at this point, I could then proceed to record my comments. Okay. So I could hit 
the record button and I am now recording giving my commentary on what I'm seeing in this image and if this was a language course it could be in the target language as well okay I would stop that there and then to get this back to Google Classroom I would then choose the open in option and I would have to give it a name so I'd likely have to say my own name here just so I know who's turning it in this is like writing my name on a paper I'll save it and now I got a Google Classroom button and I can do this and what it's doing is it's going to attach it to an assignment and the app is actually searching for any assignments that I have upcoming uh, that are due and I would then just simply click attach to assignment in my Google Classroom and I would have to pick the appropriate assignment so here it is what do you see and then I would go ahead and hit the attach button in the upper right and you can see that blue line across the top indicating you indicating the progress And then once it's completed, again, my, my screen here is lagging a little bit. Um, but to complete the task, I would then need to go back into Google Classroom. Let me go back to Google Classroom. I'm going to refresh this. Notice that my attachment has now shown up. I renamed it here. And I can go ahead and hit Turn In. And when I turn in, uh, that project will now be available uh, to my teacher. So um, it's a little cumbersome, but I um, just wanted to share with you that using Google Classroom and Explain Everything is a, is a good way to go. Um, it does open up the possibility to work uh, outside the realm of just Google specific tools with your iPad and uh, I'd like to see uh, where you you take this workflow thanks for watching bye